Hi all, welcome to this channel Java Talent. In this video, we are going to learn how to secure our REST API using Spring Boot Basic Authentication and Authorization. Okay, <coughs> so let's start. Let me create uh, one simple uh, Spring uh, Boot project. So let me create one new project for here. So Spring Boot Security. So let me create this project. So you can take any <coughs> version of the Java, not an issue. The same boot security example. And here I need to actually add two and uh, two dependency first of all. So let me add one dependency. Uh, which is uh, Spring REST, that means Spring Web Application to make our application as RESTful API, and the other one is Spring Security. These two dependency I am going to add here. So once you add the dependency, <coughs> you can just check whether that has been implemented in your application or not by going through this form.xml file. Okay, so once you open the form.xml file, so you can see here Spring Boot Starter Security has been added as dependency, and the other one is Starter Web for our RESTful endpoint. So let's start with my applications first. So to enable the actually, there is the default spring boot security provided by the spring boot application so then after that we will go ahead with the implement the custom security for our uh, endpoint like uh, based on the particular url so let me uh, demonstrate how we can enable spring boot default security so to enable the spring boot default security first i will go with this uh, spring boot main application class and then at the top of the Spring Boot main class, there is one annotation we need to write down here. So let me add that annotation, which is enable security. Let me see that enable web security is the annotation which we need to add. So see enable web security. Add these annotations to and other configurations class to have the spring security configurations defined in web security configurer or more likely by exposing security filter chain so if you are if you are having the configurations class so based on that you can add these annotations fine we need to add this annotation at top of this main class so it will applicable and then uh, we need to add just one annotation this one and then we need to go ahead and create our one custom package uh, for our controller class. So let me create the package com dot java talent dot controller. So let me create one simple endpoint for our application. So that I will create first the controller class. Simply, I am going to print one message. Message. Okay. So it will be message controller. Okay. So to demonstrate this as the controller class, I will need to annotate this class as REST controller. And there is one endpoint I am just going to create which returns simple the one string message any method you can take and then it will simply return that message allo java talent people 
and here I will demonstrate at it as get mapping and URL I am just going to take it as message fine so this is our controller class now we need to uh, run our Spring Boot uh, security class but before of that we need to provide the username and password so in the properties file let me provide that so uh, there is the configuration spring dot security dot user name it is the username java talent spring dot security dot user dot password it will be password so these two configurations for the username and password i will need to configure in the properties file now let's run this application and hit the endpoint. So if you hit the endpoint, see which port this application is running first. So our application is running on 8080 with no context path. So I have not set any context path. So let me localhost 8080. So see if you hit our endpoint, what is our endpoint? Uh, let me go to the controller class. This is the endpoint. Let me hit that endpoint basically. Okay. So, localhost 8080 message. But it is automatically going back to this login page. So, Java talent username and the password I will need to provide. So, once you provide your credentials, it will authenticate and print your message. Hello, Java talent people. So, okay. So this is the basic authentications which Spring Boot application has been provided. Okay. So now let's run. <coughs> now let's see the role based and URL based security for our application. How we can provide our URL based security and the role based security for the same applications. So for that, first let me comment these two things. What I have demonstrated as the manual value for the username and password, and then I will go ahead with this role based one. So, first let's remove this one. So, I have commented it, you can just delete or comment, and then I will need to create one configurations class. So, so for that, let me create one package Java talent dot config this package i am just taking for the configuration class and then let me create one class which is spring boot or spring security config okay so this class must be annotated with this at the risk configuration so this will become the our configuration class okay so in this one i will just going to create the two methods so one is uh, how we can check the user details man management details like username and password and there is one filter i will check it so let me create both the methods public in memory user details manager user details manager in memory user details manager so this is the type of the class i'm just going to return it and then i'm just going to use user details service so this is the method i'm just going to get it so i need to create the user details basically user details user is equal to user dot with default password encoder and uh, then then username what is the username simply java talent you can take any username and password password java talent 
and roles i'm just going to take the roles as user for now and then build method and then simply return new in memory user details manager of that particular user details whatever the users details we have added then i will take it okay so actually it is showing that it is reflected reflected so it is a duplicated value so in place of it we can use the other user details service method okay and add suppression flooding it is showing that configuration problem so for now it is fine so let me go ahead and then i will create one more method so to this one make this as the bin so i will annotate this method with the bin at the right bin then one more method i will create public security filter chain so this is the basically filtering our requirement based on the criteria okay so our filter chain method is ready with this uh, actually i have taken this and matches for this particular message slash message url and it will be authenticated with this username and this password so let me run this project and then we will test okay so our project is running 8080 port basically here so let me test it so once localhost 8080 message i will click it will ask for this username and password so once it is validated so basically we have given java talent java talent so it will print your message as the success response after authenticated that username and password okay so the next step is uh, check let me stop the server first let me create one more uh, this is the ant matches and this is the any request so this will validate any request in your application and this will match only the pattern specific pattern what is going to be authenticated so let me create one more controller so that we can test so uh, just uh, copy this and paste with a different name so basically here i am just going to take a student controller for the testing purpose okay so this is the student controller i am going to take this url as a student and here i am taking this message from student controller okay and the url is now student correct so let me check for the uh, our use case so our use case is here this will validate uh, let me go with the any request first so for now i am taking this any request so whether i am going to uh, access message url or the student url it will be authenticated so let me test it okay our application is up and running so let me open the new tab here uh, let me test with message okay it is printing fine and let me go with the student okay so see message java talent people and here message from student controller we are good for now so let me go with the specific one i want let me stop this and then i want a specific matcher for the particular url i do not want to authenticate any request which is coming to our applications so i just want to validate only this message url so let me run the project once again and then we will check it so our application is running so let me close both the window and then open 
a student URL first because there is no any validation. So we will get the success response without authentication. But once I am going to hit this uh, message URL, it will be authenticated. See, it is asking for the username and password and the pop-up is here. So once I will provide the, for example, let me provide the wrong password and wrong username. See, again, I am redirecting to the same pop-up. Um, once I will provide the actual username and password, then it will authenticate and then it will print your message. Okay. So this is the one uh, what I wanted to show you guys. Yeah. So thanks for your time and please subscribe my channel for the latest videos. Thank you.